hey guys hope you are all doing well so as i already uploaded the videos uh, passing package videos for the operating systems and uh, ddco subject today i am with another subject very important one that is dsa data structures and applications for the third sem students its subject code is bcs 304 vtu uh, for the VTU students, right? Uh, let us discuss the passing module first here. That is module first. It is comparatively easier than fourth and fifth module and uh, second and third module, right? So first of all, the de uh, definite question or uh, this is most frequently asked question in the VTU examination that is define data structure, classify data structures in various features. Also explain its basic operations. Next possible question will be di uh, differentiate between static and dynamic memory allocation discuss four dynamic memory allocation function what is linear array discuss the representation of linear array in memory over there comparison between structures and unions it may be the possible question next is define a stack explain the different operations that can be performed on stacks which uh, with suitable exam with suitables uh, which suitable c function and examples over there write a c program to demonstrate the basic operations in arrays okay and you should practice some problems on sparse matrices also uh, definition means uh, they will ask uh, suppose define sparse matrices matrices and also uh, they will give the question with it okay and also polynomials define polynomials and they will give some uh, questions on it uh, and then uh, post fix and in fix on stack <clears throat> these are the important ones they will give you the uh, expression you have to convert it from the in, uh, in fix to post fix or similarly with the post fix to in fix over there this is the very important one you should go through these type of expressions so that you can easily cover module first over there okay and uh, if you want uh, previous year papers also from the 18 scheme or 21 scheme uh, don't worry for that i will just upload uh, those uh, papers on my instagram account so that you will avail those <clears throat> papers so that you will practice some problems from that okay now from the second module the questions may be like uh, define q uh, write q insert and q delete procedure for q uh, queues using arrays what are the circular queues write down its advantage and disadvantage discuss problem using dynamic allocation arrays okay differentiate between arrays and linked lists operation on singly linked lists example like uh, questions will be on the deletion and insertion so you should go through variety of problems uh, suppose delete a node from the front uh, from the mid from the end likewise you should go through these type of problems insertion and deletion okay develop a c program to add uh, two polynomials using singly linked list discuss how to implement stacks and queues using linked list okay and what is linked uh, list uh, will be the question probably four marks and explain different types of linked lists over there this is all about the more this is all about the model second which you have to cover these questions you should cover over there okay next is the model third which is again a passing module so define doubly linked list write its advantage and disadvantages next is what is circular doubly linked list write a c function to perform the following operations on circular doubly linked list like samwise insertion and deletion this is most important one okay so you should practice those problems and you should not leave at all as this is the subject which is the most concern which is the concern for most of the students okay they are getting backlogs if you just consider they were seniors from 18 scheme or 21 scheme they are having backlogs in the subject so no need to leave uh, the problems at all okay and sometimes we too is giving problematic problem problematic part much more than the theory theory part over there okay next is a defined binary tree list and discuss any two properties of binary tree define threaded binary tree discuss uh, its types uh, and discuss how binary tree are represented using array and linked list discuss in order pre-order post order and label order tra uh, traversal with suitable recursing function for each and what is a uh, tree may be the question explain its types with suitable examples and you should practice problems on binary trees uh, by referring previous year question papers so that you will get some ideas about the problems okay theory questions uh, it was possible for me to make a passing uh, what we call as questions in this particular subject so i have written that and i have preferred all your previous year question papers and syllabus over which uh, topics are matching or not so likewise i have uh, taken some theory questions were there okay but problematic part uh, there will be no definite question on it uh, they will uh, the networks or uh, sorry binary trees may vary over there okay so you should go through varieties of problems where you have you are supposed to do the problems on in order pre-order and post order okay and this may be the question like draw binary search tree thread uh, or threaded tree and show the array and linked list representation of the same means this sequence you have to draw the binary search tree over there okay this is all about the model third <clears throat> now if i just talk about the model four and model fifth these are comparative comparatively typical than rest of the three models which i discussed uh, which were the passing modules okay so <clears throat> from model fourth questions will be like what is graph give the difference between tree and graph uh, write an algorithm for breadth first search 
BFS and depth first sorry DFS okay it is a most frequently asked question in the EQ examination next is explain the types of graphs with suitable example and uh, sorry this uh, this question which I marked here is from the model fourth uh, sorry model uh, third over there okay you should go through binary tree uh, with suitable examples define the following de degree of a node this is from model third over there okay so degree of a node level of a binary tree complete binary tree full binary tree this may be the possible question from the binary trees over there okay and problems on graphs you should practice graphs and trees and develop c functions to implement the following uh, like search key value in a binary search tree and copying a binary tree and next question may be possible here that is explain concept of binary search tree and how it maintains the order of its elements uh, in uh, sorry and also the demonstration of these three you have to do okay that is insertion deletion and searching these are the demonstration of the operations you have to do okay this much question is up to this that means explain the concept of binary search tree and how it maintains the order of first elements define selection trees and explain their role in finding kth means uh, smallest or largest element in a set define forests and explain how they differ from trees and concept of disjoint sets you have to make sure you will read it and different methods for it is representation okay these are the possible questions from the model fourth next is uh, model fifth define hashing what are the two criteria a good hash satisfy discuss open addressing and chaining method with an example over there next is define red black um, sorry red black tree and uh, split tree and uh, b tree discuss uh, the method to insert an element into red black tree and uh, comparison between static hashing and dynamic hashing okay and next two will be explain uh, the hashing functions like division mid square folding okay these uh, theory questions you have to go through okay next one is the most important one that is what is collusion and explain the collusion resolution technique with proper example okay this i cannot discuss here so this is not too much important one but here they explain how left least uh, left east trees are used to implement priority queues discuss their prior uh, properties and advantages define priority queues differentiate between single ended and double ended priority queues okay next is define optimal binary search trees and explain their importance in efficient data retrieval next possible question may be the provide examples of real world, uh, real world applications where optimal binary search trees are used to optimize data retrieval operations and also if you want to practice the problems if you want to score in the subject so you have to go through problems like constructing an optimal binary search tree from a given set of keys and their probabilities and problems on hashing you should go through okay this is all about the module 5 and there is a vast syllabus for it my dear friends so that i have taken only the most important ones otherwise there is a possibility of variety of questions which may be asked in the video examination but these are the important ones uh, which you should uh, mark on your a4 sheet so that you can cover these modules over there so thanks for watching my video